It's time for Eyewitness Sports. The American Legion Baseball Junior State Tournament is underway. Good evening, I'm David Edelstein. All games are played at Renane Field, and four teams traveled to Utica from all over New York to play in the first two games today. So, no time to waste. Let's take you out to Renane Field for Game 1. The Junior Tournament starts with a matchup between the Rockland Pirates in black, yellow, and red, and Clinton County in blue. So top of the first inning, we'll start at the beginning. Rockland Pirates at bat draws the leadoff walk, first batter up. And then this guy being aggressive, stealing second over there, but in, oh, what's the call? Oh, he's out on the throw, no score, heading to the bottom of the first. So Clinton County at bat now, here they're good too. Nice contact, sending this ball past the diving second baseman for the hit. And then a few batters later. Some things are routine, but you've got to make sure that you make the little things happen. Here's a routine fly ball, for example. But it's dropped by the shortstop. Throw to first, try and get him out, but it's way, way into foul territory. Runner called out anyway, though, for having left the base paths on the way, seeming he thought he was out. And the bottom of the second is where it all happened. Billy Desapoyo reaches on an error, and then this. Up next, he's on base, but a pickoff attempt at first is overthrown. Turns on the Jets to third. Let's look at him go, a sliding cloud of dust there on the field. So they keep it rolling. Then a hit past short, brings in the first run, and Rockland Pirates take the early 1-0 lead. So there's runners on first and second, and Rockland lays down the bunt, and then a bad throw comes in to score the runner around. So now it's 2 Nothing, Rockland. Next, Rockland keeps the line moving. Ball hit to shallow right. Frustration from the batter. It's caught for the sacrifice fly as he runs on in and sliding there. Three nothing, Rockland. So then Jack Wishner, he's up at bat, punches one to right also. Frustration with the bat, throws it to the ground. But then this one's off the glove. And so another run can come all the way around as the runner goes to second. And now it's four nothing. So the next batter, another run comes in, making it 5-0. It just keeps on tallying over. So over to the shortstop, and this one brings in another one, 6-0. So it, it, it is just kind of a consistent carousel here. A little chopper and another throw, just a little bit off target. Run comes in, now it 7 nothing as the runner makes his way over to second base. Another run will score, and then a ground out. This one goes over to third base. And then over to first for the reach. A little bit of frustration for Clinton County. Rockland Pirates go on to win this one in mercy fashion, 12-0. Talk about that. Now on to game two. Endicott playing Koksaki. Koksaki leads 7-1 in the bottom of the third. It scored six runs in the first inning, then one in the second. So meeting on the mound for Endicott trying to figure out exactly what to do at this point in the game. You don't want to have another mercy rule like the earlier one. So let's start with the top of the fourth inning. Bunt to first base side, reach for it, no tag, hesitation, but throw to first, safe, because the first baseman was in the air. So okay, base is now loaded for Endicott, and a walk brings in another run. So now Koksaki leads 7-2. Up next, Koksaki still making things happen. Watching the ball and then a bouncer to the pitcher. Quick reaction out at home, now to first, safe there. So man on first. Then another play at home for this one. It's get punched out to right field. There's a catch for out number two and then throw home. Runner hesitates but now turns on the Jets. Tag on a dive. Wow, talk about flying. Is that Superman? Uh, unfortunately not. There's the out for out number three. So they only get one in the inning. But bottom of the fourth, this is where it happened. Fly ball to right field with a runner at second. Rolls all the way to the wall. Runner comes around to score, so it's 8-2 Koksaki. But right field is also where a lot of things got done. This one also goes out to right field and brings another runner in as this ball drops before the line. Now it's 9-2, so the score increasing, getting a little bit shaky for Endicott. Stolen base right here, and then a hit and another run. Another stolen base, and then a little grounder overthrown, making it 11-2. The liner to short, so there's the stolen base. The grounder goes out, try and pick this one up. Two men there, too far. Next batter, shortstop again, really active, but this liner is dropped. Man is safe at home, 
to bring in the run. Now it's 12-2. And then the throw here. Pick this one up. Throw in time. No, late to first. It's 13-2. So Kuksaki gets three outs in the top of the fifth. And again, in this game, mercy rule is called. It wins 13 -2. Two. They're leading by more than 10 after five innings. So your final scores for today, two games that ended due to the mercy rule. Rockland Pirates win 12-0 over Clinton County. And in game two, Kuxaki defeats Endicott 13-2. Now about the venue. This is the ninth year the state tournament is hosted in Utica, and it's the second to last time it will be. American Legion plans to move the tournament to Socrates, just south of Albany, in the year 2021. But for now, it's here. And American Legion New York District 5 Chairman Mike Michonne and American Legion New York State Department Chair Bruce Mayfield say Utica is a great place for the tournament for multiple reasons. Well, I think for the community, it, it's, a, it's a great event to have. And, uh, you know, the, like anything else, the, the duration of time that it spends here is highly dependent upon, you know, the, the reception by the community and everything else. Overall, all of the amenities that are here is it's a real plus. Uh, I, I've never really heard any complaints at all about, especially when it comes to the food and restaurants and things like that. And the general facility uh, is is excellent. Centrally located is probably the most ideal part. All we can do is ask the people to come out, you know, and enjoy it. We hope that the fans in the Utica area will come out. We want to get all our Legionnaire friends and family out. So we're looking for that. And there are plenty of games for fans to attend. An assortment of junior and senior tournament games are played from today. You saw those too through Wednesday. And that's all for Sports and Eyewitness News first at 10. Be sure to check out cnyhomepage.com and click on local sports for your top sports stories. Also, follow at CNY Sports and at David Z. Edelstein on Twitter. I'll be back tomorrow night on Eyewitness News at 6 on WUTR and back right here tomorrow, Eyewitness News first at 10. There's more Eyewitness News after the break, so stay friendly and stay tuned.